Okay, now we're going to do our first major project, or I guess somewhat major project. We're going to create a game called Guess My Number. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new um, Python window. And I will be saving this as Guess My Number, and then of course I'll be uploading it into my Google Drive. Um, first, a word about comments. Always important to comment your programs before you start. The idea of this game is that the computer is going to have a number in mind and the user is going to need to guess the number. Um, and I'm going to have the computer select a random number. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a library. Libraries are extensions to Python where you can then call up different commands. Um, and the library I'm going to use is a, a library that we're going to use a lot, which is called random. So once I import the random library, I'm able to call up random commands. Next, I'm going to have my variables. And here are the variables that I am going to have. Um, computers, uh, computers number, humans guess, number of guesses, name, this is going to be the user's name. And uh, what else do I need? Um, I think that's all I need for now. It always makes sense to put your variables up front. OK. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to keep playing a game until the user's number, um, or the human's guess, equals the computer's number. So the first thing I should do is I should assign the computer's number to something other than to zero. Here's how I'm going to do it. So I've gone ahead and typed this line of code here. Computer's number equals random. So I'm using the random library. Rand, it should say rand int, which means a random integer between 1 and 100. So um, let's say you didn't remember how to generate a random number. Because um, oftentimes you'll kind of know in coding that something is possible but you won't really remember how you did that so or, or what the exact code was. So um, I'll show you that in a second. So I went ahead and typed in this search term, random number generator, Python 3. We're using Python 3 as our programming language. I find this site, Stack Overflow, to be pretty good. So I click into this site, and um, it says, how do you get random numbers? Um, any ideas? Uh, try using this. From random, import rand int, rand int 2 to 9, inclusive, and it gets you 8. Aha! So that looks pretty good. Um, from random, import rand int, and rand int. So this person, you, instead of um, importing um, all of random, they just imported this, this one function, rand int. It's a different way of importing. So maybe I'll actually use this exact code here. And I'll just copy it, Command C, and I will go back to my um, Python window, not that, um, and I will say, I'll use this line. So from random import rand int, and then I will say computer's number equals rand int to or one to a hundred. Now, when I've done something like this, I often like to test it to make sure that it works. So, computer's number. This line here, the print computer's number, I'm really just testing this code and seeing if it works. So, I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to save my code. Guess my number 2.0, because I already created one version of it. And I'm going to hit run, and 40. I'm going to hit run again, 19. OK, it looks like it's working. It's giving me a random number. So all in all, it's good. One minor problem, though, is that if I ever want to change the range of numbers, I have to change it here between 1 and 100. Sometimes it's nice to have a variable, which is the range, so that I can just change it up top where the variables are located. Um, it's nice. It's just a nice coding, uh, nice, th nice thing to do with your code to make it more organized. 
So here's what I mean by this. The low number equals 1 and high equals 100. And then I can just say, give me the rand int between low and high. And then print computer's number. All right, so the first step is to um, get the computer to have a number. And um, then my next step is to set up a while loop. So I typed in this while I was paused. While humans guess does not equal, this is the code for does not equal, does not equal computer's number, and you need this colon here, do everything from here to here. Obviously there's nothing in there. Notice the indentation. The computer will automatically do the indentation for you. So this is the stuff that I want it to do. First thing I want it to do is I want it to get the um, humans guess. Uh, so humans guess equals import what is your guess. So it's going to use a new command called import and it's going to say, hey, what, what guess would you like? Um, while, uh, or sorry, if humans guess is greater than computer's number, then print too high. If humans guess is less than computer's number, then print too low. Okay. And um, it's going to do this until it has the right number. Okay. And now if it gets out of here, if it gets out of this while statement, it means the number was selected. So print, congratulations, you have found the number. Okay. Now, um, there is actually an error in here. When you import, when you use this command, import, what is your guest? What is your guest? It sets this value to a string. So it's important that I talk to you for a second about what the difference is between a string and a number. So a string is anything that can be put in quotes. So congratulations, you have found the number. This is a string. This is also a string. If I said um, humans guess equals quote six, it doesn't know that this is the number six. It thinks it's the string six, just like it thinks that, you know, this is um, six uh, is silly. That also is a string. So part of the problem with my program here is that when it says humans guess equals import, what is your guess? It's going to turn humans guess into a string. So I need to do one other step, which is I need to say humans guess equals humans guess. And I need to turn it into an integer. And there's a command for that. So integer x equals zero turns it into an integer, great. So an integer just means a number. So humans guess equals int humans guess. And now I can do this test. Congratulations, you have found the number. And this should be the first version of um, uh, guess my number. Let's see if it works. Run, run module. Oh yeah, I need to save it. So it says, hmm, humans guess equals import. Oh, it's not import, it's input. What is your guess? Okay, so run, let's try this again. And yes, I need to save it. So what is your guess? Um, what is my guess? My guess is 45, too high, 40, too high, 30, too high, 20, too high, 10, too low, 15, too low, 16. Congratulations, you have found the number. Okay, so that is my program so far. It's not the world's best program, but hey. So let's talk about some ways that I'm going to make it even better. Okay, the first thing I wanna to do to make it better is I want to 
track how many guesses I have made, and also I should uh, probably give some instructions too. So first, let's do some instructions, um, and let's put those right up here. I have a number in mind between um, uh, between low and can you guess the number? Okay, so these are my instructions. So I've made one improvement to the game already. Okay, and the other improvement I wanted to do is I wanted to see how many guesses it takes. So, um, humans guess equals input, and number of guesses equals zero. So, whenever the human makes a guess after the input, I should say number of guesses equals number of guesses plus one. Okay, print congratulations, you have found the number, and print you found the number in number of guesses guesses okay let's see if this is a better program now um, so I'm going to save it and I'm going to run I have a number in mind between 1 and 100 can you guess the number? What is your guess? 34, too low, 56, too high, 45, too high, 38, too high, 39, too high, uh, 37, too high, 34, too low, 35. Okay, congratulations, you have found the number. You found the number in eight guesses. All right, so my program is a little bit better but I think there are probably still a couple of minor improvements I can make to this program. One of the big changes I could make is the ability to play again. So in order to be able to play again, I need to do another while statement. Basically, I have to have nested while statements. So, hmm, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is I have to say while playing the game. So um, I'm gonna create a new variable called playing and it's going to be yes. I'm going to set it to y for yes. And I'm going to create another while statement. While playing equals, you have to do two equals to say, is it equal to, two equal signs. While equal to yes, then do all of this stuff. But now this stuff is, do you see how this while statement and this while statement are lined up? I have to move all of this stuff from here down to here, I need to indent it. So format, indent region. Okay, so while playing equals yes. Okay, do all this stuff and then say, um, uh, print, actually, um, I'm gonna say playing equals input would you like to play again? Yes, no. So if the person types yes, it's gonna go back up to here. So I have to reset some of my variables. So one variable I need to get uh, reset is I need to um, come up with the computer's number again, a new computer's number. And I also need to have guest count or actually, sorry, number of guesses equals zero. And then it should all work. And I should probably say print, great, let's play again. And then if I ever get to this point, it means that I'm no longer in this while statement. So I should print, 